You wouldn't splice a silk purse with a sow's ear, nor could you sing spiel and milk verse to a kingly ear. This is what the human being thinks to be or not to be a jolly good idea. Opposites attract. Sheer lunacy. By the second act you will have fallen through the trap. By act three it will be no more than a Shakespearean tragedy. How can you cross a rampant steed with an asexual that grows tomatoes and tomorrows from packets of seed? One is a lioness with a desire for red meat. The other be a duck-billed platypus with a shallow heart and webbed feet. The sapien pays scant attention to its own diamorphic dimension and in doing so keeps on reproducing a catastrophic invention. They take the bloodstock and breeding of their pet's pedigree to the nth degree. Yet they themselves would blend together a Bolshevik, a Barbie doll, or a Banshee. By the balls of Beelzebub, who would breed a bisexual Piscean with a testosterone Taurian, ending up with some sort of Manatorian? Then who would cross a squirrel from the Wirral with a wildcat from the Tyrrell, bound to end up with a scouse nut job? was completely surreal. Oh, this people's Pandorian pick and mix. The fast form speciation fix. How could we ever produce anything other than a biological bag of tricks? <laughs>